Gospel of November the 27, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marrying, in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So it will be also at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be out in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one will be left. Therefore stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of night when the, chief, when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So, so you too also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a peek of the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain, raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it, and say, Come, let us climb to the Lord's mountain, to the house of the God of Jacob. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. Also, from the second, the, the letter of Paul to the Romans, Do you know the time? It is the hour now for you to awake from sleep. Our salvation is nearer now. Then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Conduct ourselves properly, as in day, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in promiscuity and lust, not in rivalry and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. Well, this first Sunday of Advent, we are reminded by our Lord Jesus Christ that even though we might be distracted with many worries, and indeed there have been many, many worries this year, from ISIS, the raging war in the Middle East, to Russia advancing over to Ukraine, to China uh, developing a greater army, to even the winning of Donald Trump in the United States, the Brexit move from Britain, and all sorts of things that are happening throughout the world that seem to put us in turmoil. In Philippines, the new president, Duarte, who seems to be intent in cutting off Ali's ties and everything else and starting a, a real fight against those people that, uh, uh, that trade with drugs and stuff. Only the people, the local people, know for sure what is going on. Quakes in Chile in Japan and everywhere else, in Italy, and we are distracted. But the Lord says, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man, the second coming. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark. Then came the flood and carried them all away. So he says it twice, and then he explains something to us that is very important. Two men will be on the field, one will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one taken, the other left. Then what is it, the difference? It's not where we are, it's what we have in our hearts, it's what we have done, our deeds. In the book of Revelation, last week we just saw how it was so important for us, our good deeds, our fruits. 
So we have to live that way. And we have to be aware of doing that. What we see in the first reading is very nice. The mount of the Lord's house shall be established as the higher mountain. And that will be in Jerusalem. For the Lord will be and has already come. It's not that we are again waiting for something to happen, but we are remembering what has already happened. Christmas is the short word for Christ is born. It is the nativity of Christ that we celebrate on Christmas. Even though many people try to rob us that by setting up that uh, fat man with the red uh, suit, Santa Claus. But it's not about Santa Claus or, or presents. Christmas is about Christ, the living God becoming flesh. And it has already been established as the highest. And the people want to climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of, of Jacob. Then he says something that is very beautiful. He says, They shall beat their swords into plowshares, their spears into pruning hooks. We might, some of us might say, well, it hasn't happened. Has it not? Did not Peter, Simon Peter, had a spade in his hand with which he cut off Malchus' ear? And then the Lord told him, take that away. The one who hurts by iron will be death by iron. And never again Simon Peter used that spade. And with him, all the true Christians have never ever used weapons to go against, compared with Muslims, that they believe that we should, that they should be conquering with the spade, with the blade. We don't, except unfortunately a few times when we have been misled away from the way of God. For Jesus never ever authorizes us to be violent against each, and all, each other. That is what he wants, that we conquer by love, that we conquer not by pridefulness, but by, but by humbleness that we conquer not by power, but by love, by service. So it is already happening. And if it hasn't happened already all over the world, it's because they lack witnesses. And the witnesses that we are, are not good enough. We are not good enough. So we need to pray for each other. And then we need to do the best that we can. What do we see in the second reading is very beautiful. He says, Paul says, Let us conduct ourselves properly. No orgies, drunkenness, promiscuity, lust, rivalry, or jealousy. That's what we should be fending off. And I would like to finish with this very beautiful wording of the psalm. Because of my brothers and friends, I will say, because of the house of the Lord our God, I will pray for your good. Let us love each other as God has loved us. Let us be ready and able to be witness of that love that has no end. Until we meet in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.